Hey guys, it's Action Jacqueline, your fellow alopecia princess. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my show. Okay, so as you can see, I changed my name. I'm no longer going by my government on YouTube, my government name, my full Jacqueline Hill Bennett government name. Um, I knew one day I would have to change it. Um, for some reason, I never got around to it. It's always been dangerous to like just have my name out there like that. Um, but I just decided to do it. Anyway, I'm at... Um, so... <laughs> Let me finish talking. I cut myself off like all the time. So I changed my name to Action Jacqueline. That's how you'll find me, Action Jacqueline, the Alopecia Princess. And um, it's also the name that I've always used on Instagram. So it actually connects across platforms. You know what I'm saying? So it makes more sense for me to use that name um, than any different name besides my government name, which I don't want to use anymore for obvious reasons. Although, like, um, like three years in so it's stupid at this point but just the same I have to do it anyway I was sitting here working and um, I started I, I was just beating myself up like literally beating myself up and obsessing over money <laughs> and um, I, I needed to talk to somebody about it because you know like, when you have troubles you should talk about talk about it but people don't understand it people don't understand how I spend my money and what I spend my money on and why I spend so much. Um, the only people who really would understand are you guys. So I'm hoping that you know you guys could <laughs> help me out. At least like comment below and let me know if you go through the same thing. Okay, so obviously I wear wigs um, because I have alopecia. No, I don't have to wear wigs. I could just choose to be bald. Many beautiful women do it. Um, I just don't do it because I don't like the attention. I don't like that people um, have come to me in the past and asked me if I had cancer and the <laughs> vast amount of people who actually approach me with that question just gets on my nerves it like really annoys me so I choose to wear wigs because I don't want to be associated um, with an illness a debilitating illness like that so anyway um, so <laughs> because I wear wigs I spend a lot of money on wigs each year I buy about four or five wigs each year and I spend a lot of money on them um, I know people I've heard that people like will buy one wig a year or two wigs a year and they'll spend like I don't know between three thousand dollars on them or something like that and they'll just last them all year and I've done that before but for some reason I maybe it's because I'm a black girl and the people around me who I surround myself with are really into changing hairstyles and it's it's with it's within me to want to change my hairstyle all the time but for some reason I can't keep one wig for more than a year I mean I could hold on to it I could use it again next year or something like that but I have to like constantly change my wigs so I bought this wig um, not long ago literally like a month ago and um, I really like it but I purchased it online so I didn't get a chance to like feel the texture it's a European wig and it was um, about $500 and the hair is so fine that um, I feel like it's not gonna last long I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with wigs that you just know are not going to stand the test of time. This is one of them. So I'm here panicking, right, because I have, um, right now, I'm using three wigs in rotation. Um, I'll talk to you about them later. But this is the third one, and I'm beginning, I'm starting to panic. So yesterday, I went and I back online, and I purchased another wig um, <laughs> for, to me, a lot of money. And... $500 but it's a lot of money it's just like why am I spending so much money it's like a sick fucking addiction it's like a gambling addiction or something I don't know what it is but I can't stop doing it <laughs> and because I'm like on this hypergamous journey and I, this is another thing I, I know you guys probably don't understand that I'm a married woman I've been married for 17 years and I'm still on a hypergamous journey because my husband is growing you know he is um, growing in stature and his um, income level has grown so I have to grow with him you know what I'm saying so I can't be like looking like I did 10 years ago my hair has to be on point you know what I'm saying <laughs> and don't judge me I'm everybody I know there's a whole bunch of people out there like 
oh my god hair is not everything i don't understand women and this need to constantly be beautiful listen you guys do you only do me and if you want to turn around and tell me that it's not working for me because i'm spending so much money you're probably right but at the same time like there's this thing called cognitive dissonance when you know one thing but you do another thing and like i really really like to look nice like my hair has to be on point and it's to the point where it's like sickening to me it's it's july and i'm on like my fourth wig already <laughs> listen comment below if you guys can understand me i just wanted to put this out there um this is uh wig girl problems alopecia girl problems all girl problems the amount of money that we spend on wigs so anyway just want to um reach out to you guys and tell you what was up in my life and ask you guys to help me through this tough time <laughs> thanks bye